We are now going to talk about Norm MacDonald's Netflix special called Nothing Special. It was recorded, I believe, at some point in 2020. That seems to be what they intimated. And Norm MacDonald did it in his house. In the beginning, they say he was, did it in one take. And throughout, it becomes sort of obvious that that's true or more obvious that that's true as it goes on. But yeah, well, how, did you, uh, how did you feel about it? I enjoyed it and I wish a crowd could have seen it because I love the way he works crowds and clearly he had space in there where he was, he would have paused for a crowd to do a thing to react to someone and be like, what, uh, wait, what, when he was doing some of those things, what was I saying? I didn't do that. No, what's wrong with you? Like I do still, I do still think the way he played that works for Netflix audience. Yeah. And I think the way he filmed it where he's just sitting at, he's just like sitting at a desk, like very close to the camera <laughs> Yeah. Uh, works for what he's doing and the faces he's making. I think otherwise you have to have a good director and like really good camera operators or like like good zooms and shit to get that same level of face. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I think this. I think it worked. But yeah, I think it would have been cool if it was in front of a crowd. But obviously, yeah. it couldn't happen. And then uh, he's dead. So he died. I think he did a great job in this of teetering on the line of being like right about to say something offensive or you're thinking that he's going to and then not doing it like the stewardess joke yeah that one was so good and then the bit yeah. about the hall pass i was like man he's gonna talk shit about his wife like this and then the punchline yeah. came and i was like oh he f- got me again yeah they're saying at the end he wasn't even married yeah, he's not married. Yeah, he just makes <laughs> like, that shit up. I was like, wait, what? He referenced a woman named Ruth, I think, multiple times over the years in his stand-up. But yeah, still that hall pass bit. Incredible. So funny. Um, Him doing the whole thing in one take and even including the dog barking and the phone call interrupting him was... It just... It adds that whole like... Like, yeah, he did this. He started doing it. He finished doing it. And you're seeing the whole thing being an end. And I think that just... That drove that point home. And yeah. I love that. I felt like after the phone call happened, I was like, I feel like this is part of the show. And then I realized later on, probably not because the dog barking definitely was not part of the <laughs> yeah, show. No. You know, it wasn't, dog barking it wasn't plotted first. out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Which is why I realized it was not part of the show. Yeah, it's a special, how like 50 minutes maybe. Yeah. And then it's about like 35, 40 minutes of uh, Conan Letterman, Chappelle, Molly Shannon, Adam Sandler and David Spade talking about him. I thought the conversation was cool. It's it's very it was very fun to see a bunch of funny people talk about why someone is funny. Mm-hmm. Another thing you don't really see that often. No, because they usually just hate each other in public. Yeah, it's true. Like now that their friend is dead, they're like, let's praise him. But like, you know, some people yeah. do, but like it was interesting because it's a lot of people who are like some of the funniest people that have existed throughout certain periods of time, depending on your taste, just talking about like very specifically what they think was great about certain things that he did, which I thought was very interesting or like bits that they thought would kill and stuff like that. They were still like very critical of, of it, even though they're like honoring one of their friends. Yeah. I mean, I think if you've, uh, if you're ever like Norm Macdonald in anything, dirty work, SNL, Adam Sandler movies, any of it, you should watch this. Absolutely.